Swami Vivekananda was born 12th of January 1863 in Calcutta, Bengal. He was a key figure in the intro introduction of Indian Yoga and Vedanta philosophy. In 1893, he spoke at the World Parliament of Religions, promoting the unity of all world religions. He also fought for rights of women and to end the excess of the caste system. Today, many Indian nationalists think of him as a figure and were inspired by his teachings and personality. Arvindo Ghos was born on August 15, 1872 in Kolkata, India. Sri Aurobindo was an early Indian revolutionary. He left politics to follow his spiritual sadhana. Sri Aurobindo founded in an ashram in Pondicherry, where he became a popular philosopher, poet, and spiritual master. In Bengal, he got in contact with revolutionaries and inspired young ones such as Bagha Jatin Jatin Banjeris and Sarenda Tagore onto their own paths and missions. He was also involved in the formation of several youth clubs, including the Asumyan Samiti in Banjeri Sir. Sir even placed himself on the path of spiritual learning and the evolution of practicing secluded yoga for four years, which he deemed the, the name internal yoga. He pushed the importance of spiritual practice and human transformation into a divine entity. Sri Aurobindo was a great impact for the people he had led, taught, and inspired, giving people of his faith someone to follow and do what they believed was needed. The Hindu festival of Dussehra takes place once a year and they reenact the slaying of a ten-headed demon and this is depicted as a victory of good over evil. On Tuesday, the demons that burn all across India were custom made for a season of mounting tension with Pakistan. A demon that was green and wore a Pakistani flag towered over the Delhi neighborhood of Dwarka and an effigy burned in East Delhi board which made the Prime Minister Narendra Modi of India more cautious in his symbolism. The burning of this effigy took place over a ceremony in Uttar Pradesh and it burned with the words, May terrorism be wiped out for good, across its chest. Mr. Modi was known as an avenger for the ordering of military strikes on Pakistan territory. Hindu actor Kamal Hassan spoke about, about that. Spoke about usury and how it affected him on the movie set. He said that usury affects all people, including farmers and movie stars equally. He also said that because of that, because of his friend's suicide loss, he couldn't place to prevent something like this from ever happening again. They found his friend hanging in his house. They also found a note stating what had happened. Many people were affected by usury in India. They used usury to affect Kamal Hassan on set, which means they overfinanced. It shows that they need to be stopped. They need to stop using usury because it's affecting actors and how they're on set. They need to ask themselves, who will be next because of this? If they don't stop this, this the movie business could become more corrupt than it already is. Indian Congressman Rahul Gandhi has been caught going to Hindu temples after he stated he didn't want to deal with religion or politics anymore. Until recently, he was not as a duration-aided Hindu, which is an outcast from the religion and politics. He was also seen playing, paying obscenance at 21 temples around the country of India. His many temple hops have caused fission in Congress around the country itself. He is trying to convince the country that he is less pro-Muslim and anti-Hindu and more accepting of Hindus. The leading party, the BJP, questions Gandhi's religiosity. In Hinduism, people who are against their religion are called untouchables and are outcasts. Gandhi isn't an outcast, but he was deracing it because of his pro-Muslim approach to politics. He was visited and spoke to many temples and talked to many people during his visit. 